so this is the look of a naked coal powered coal fired power boiler we have removed the insulation and other supporting structures present outside the boiler and to understand this we have to understand uh, uh, three different circuits that is water circuit steam circuit as well as air circuit which uh, goes on inside this boiler and first we'll start off with the water circuit for which we will take a cross-sectional view of the boiler to get a better look inside now water from the boiler feed pump goes inside this header which is called the economizer inlet header and then from it a set of tubes form three tube banks as you can see here one two and three which are called the lower middle and upper banks from the upper bank the set of tubes get split into two of 57 and 58 numbers respectively which rise vertically and join at a common header now from this header a set of tubes again go into the steam drum which is shown here these set of tubes are not shown in this representative model as of now but we can assume a set of tubes that go into the steam drum from where four downcomers go vertically and join at the bottom ring header of which only one downcomer is shown in this cross-sectional view and uh, two in this complete view in this okay. bot from this bottom ring header a set of tubes from all the four ring headers yeah, go vertically the and so from the bottom ring headers set of tubes rise vertically to form the first pass of the boiler which is the left side in this left part of this representative model and all of the tubes uh, come and form uh, three headers on the top from which set of tubes come back into the steam drum forming the entire water circuit now from inside the steam drum there are turbo separators which separate the saturated steam from water the saturated steam goes from these little tubes which i am showing right now into this header which is called the superator header one and from the superator header one array of tubes take it to the superheater header 2 and then into and then it gets split into 3 right and 3 left which is the on the opposite side of this these two headers that is 3 right and 3 left form the wall of the second pass which is also called the steam cooled wall because there is steam inside these tubes they go down and form a C header that is 4 right and 4 left superheater header 4 right and superheater header 4 left which is uh, behind uh, this right superheater header 4 right and superheater header 4 left and this one connecting both of them is called the superheater header 5 from which again array of tubes take steam into the superheater header 6 which is present here this one superheater header 6 from which array of tubes form the roof of the second pass as well as the rear steam cooled wall 
of the second pass and it goes and links with the super iter header 7 from which if we can see a bit closely there are two different arrays of twos one coming from super iter header 6 and another set of tubes going into super iter header 8 If you can see a bit closely, the one I am showing right now is coming from Super Eater Header 6 and the one behind this which is also attached to the Super Eater Header 7 goes into Super Eater Header 8. This, this header is the super iter header 8 from which array of tubes go and form two banks one here and another on top of it here which is called uh, the LTSH banks latent super iter banks the upper one is called LTSH upper and the lower one is called LTSH lower from which the tubes form the super iter header 9 from which consequently the tubes uh, connect to the super iter header 10 which acts as the inlet for the platen super iter from this header that is super iter header 10 array of tubes form the platen superheater as we can see here from the cross sectional view as we can see here from the cross sectional view the super heater header 10 goes into the plate and super heater that is this and goes out into super heater header 11 from which an array of tubes take the super heated steam into the turbines now coming to the middle part of the boiler which is this area which is also known as the gooseneck area we can see the rear water wall of the first pass gets split into two the first one uh, uh, the first one goes vertically forming the hanger tubes and another set of tubes from the gooseneck which acts as reducing the area for the flow of air and two set boiler at the middle between the first pass and the second pass is known as the extended water wall essentially the water wall tubes on the rear side of the first pass that is this side tubes split into two sets one goes directly up to this header and another two sets of eight eight into two sixteen tubes link with this header in the middle one on each side and from there it goes and links with this header above from where it follows the same circuit into the steam drum.